Hey, Brian, do I have to have good credit to do an Airbnb business? Okay, no, you do not. When I started, I was in the same exact position that it sounds like you're in. I did not have good credit. There are many ways around this. Now, sometimes when you go to an owner and you're going to lease a property, they demand that you have good credit. That makes sense, right? They're going to have you fill out an application. They're not going to lease to you unless you have great credit. The other option is to go directly to owners that, in other words, you're not dealing with a large management company or anything like that. You're talking directly to Joe homeowner, right? The guy who actually owns the property. And if you can be upfront and honest with them that your credit's not good, but you can provide references of people that you've leased from, maybe your current landlord, past landlords, and you can show them that you've paid your rent on time, they will lease to you. That's exactly what happened to me. I went to the owners and I said, look, my credit's not great because I had, you know, my story is I, I did a lot of real estate deals back in, you know, the early 2000s and I, I rode that whole crash, the whole real estate crash and, you know, basically I had to start over with bad credit. So the way I did it is I just approached people and I was just brutally honest with them. I said, my credit's not good, but I want to lease your property. Here's what I want to do. And you get some people that will say, no, no way. And you'll get some people that will say, hmm, maybe. And then every once in a while you get somebody that'll say, yes, I'll do that. So you're looking for those people. You're looking for people that you can work with. Now, if you're not able to find somebody that will do that, then what you're going to look for is a partner. And it's very easy to find a partner because this business is, it's not very hard to convince somebody to help you join them, you know, to join you in an Airbnb business. So what you want to do now is find somebody that does have good credit and you work out some kind of profit split with them. So what you do is you say, look, we're going to split the money we make or you'll make a certain percentage and I'll make a certain percentage. That's another way to get going is with partners. But I would encourage you because it's totally possible to do it like I did without good credit. So don't let that limit you when you're thinking about building your own Airbnb business. So I hope that helps. Stay tuned. If you want to get more tips and tricks on Airbnb, just follow me right here.